Greetings all, I'm Silverfang back here, and I'm looking forward to seeing the next part of the Ruby trailers. Well, I've been just in going down memory road here. We're now on the Blake, or technically Black, trailer of RWBY. And, as you can tell, I'm in the Christmas spirit, in a holly shirt, if you would. And, of course, the Christmas ranch, because why not? So, I do hope you guys will enjoy this nostalgic little feel of the... RWBY trailer, or Ruby trailer, if you would, for Blake's edition. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I love how they really updated the animation in this one. Full backgrounds. Slightly more detail on the characters. What movie is good, actually. Doing this the hard way. Don't be so dramatic. Intruder, identify yourself. Katana mode. Love katanas, by the way. Guys. to the next car. I'll set the charges. What about the crew members? What about them? Here comes this. Born with no life Adam.
Bye. Yeah, that was a classic. I won't lie. I do prefer how they portrayed Adam and Blake's relationship here compared to what they did in the show. Mostly for the fact that even though it was the Beauty and the Beast type of vibe I felt from this for the grim story they're going for, it did feel more mentor and student-ish. Kind of like a Batman taking Robin to his first uh, fight against enemies. But then... They thought better to defeat the fandom and make Adam the Edgelord ex-boyfriend. Well, I do have some... I, I could have seen it working. I could have seen that angle working, just... The way they pulled it off... Felt a bit... I want to say... Off. Like, a half-baked idea. Like, they just want the most ex-boyfriendish things he could do or act like in this case. It just it didn't feel right all the way through. Not to say it wasn't a bad effort, it was just not done correctly in my opinion. Especially with their main fight between him, Blake, and Yang. And the first one I could see that happening where he cuts off Yang's arm and manages to take out Blake. I mean, that was fair. I mean, they were still students and he had been fighting a lot longer than them. Then came their main fight between him, Yang, and Blake, and I won't lie, at times I zoned out during it. It was a little boring at times, honestly. Like, but no, I still had some fun action moments, but overall I'd say it was out of 10, maybe 5.5 .5 to maybe a 6 level fight. It's just my opinion, though. I'll probably get flamed for it, but that's how I see it. Anyway... This is my reaction to Blake's trailer. Next, we'll be reviewing Yang's trailer. That'll be a fun reaction to do. I always loved her martial arts in that one. So, tune in soon. Looking forward to seeing what you guys think of it. Silver Fang, the dancer. Signing off.